our topic is stages of human development it is a part of the concept of development as I have already given in the previous video now today before moving to the topic i like to request every one of you to please subscribe our channel those who are new to it and if you need further uh, details we have also provided you in the description box so moving straight to the topic i like to request every one of you to please click the bell icon those who are new it for it and uh, if you like the video then please click the like button now today we are going to talk about the stages of human development and before talking about the stages of human development we all know that the human development an individual develops continuously changing as he or she interacts with the environment and this has to be attained in a sequential order the process of development continues even after the individual has attained the physical maturity by the physical maturity i meant the go no, growth now the stages of human development has been classified into basic four stages which have been again further classified the first stage is the infancy stage now in this classification we have classified according to the age groups that is the infancy stage is limited from a newborn to 2 years old this is the first stage of growth after the prenatal and it comprises of newborn to 2 years of old according to eric erikson's theory the infant depends on the parents especially the mother the major developmental task of infancy is to learn whether or not other people especially the primary caregivers regularly satisfy the basic needs the growth is mostly seen as an increase in the size shape and weight the cells become larger in size the cervical and the lumbar curvatures of the spine show up as the baby starts to straighten the head and tries to sit and stand so this is all we need to know about the infancy stage the next is the childhood stage so the childhood stage in this we have further classified into two it is early childhood stage or the toy age which is from the 2 to 6 years and the later childhood stage from 6 to 12 years so in this childhood we are going to talk firstly about this early childhood stages the features of it so in the early childhood stage it is a time when there is a tremendous growth across all the areas of development at this stage the child likes to do work independently and can take care of his or her body and interact effectively with others it is a sensitive part of language development in this stage the child becomes a toddler with a more balanced adult like appearance despite the age of 4 years the child has mastered many skills such as sitting walking using toilet using spoon scraping and sufficient hand eye coordination to catch and throw and all to communicate with others and try to solve their own problem by the age of the 6 the most children demonstrate the fine motor skills and a child learns to identify the members of the family and get involved in his or her surrounding the next is a late childhood stage which is confined from 6 to 12 years in this the child refines his skill acquiring during the early childhood period and learns new skill as well at this stage a child gains height and also physical entities such as mass number and area according to the physiometric theory this has been labeled in this stage as a latency stage a time when the sexual and aggressive urges are repressed so during this stage the children learn the values of the society so the primary developmental task of late childhood could be called as an integration in quotation so because this integration that's both the in terms of development and with the individual and of individual within the social context the social skills learned through the peer and the family relationship and the children increasing the ability to participate in a meaningful interpersonal communication provide a necessary foundation for the challenges of the adolescence the basic the best friends are the important in this stage so that skills gained in this relationship may provide the building blocks for the healthy adult relationship so this is all the features of the child's new stage and you need to remember some of the basic features you no need to go to the details of it 
the next is the adolescent stage the adolescent stage as we know is from 12 to 18 years of old it is not further divided and this stages has been seen through various of characteristic like the in this stage it is considered as a period of development and adjustment during the transitional period between when a children is from childhood and adulthood adolescent is being defined as a culturally constructed period that generally begins as individuals reach sexual maturity and ends when the individual has established an identity as an adult with his or her social context in other words we can also phrase that as the primary developmental task of an adolescent is considered as an identity formation adolescent is an important period for cognitive development as well as it marks a transition in the way in which individual think and a reason about the problem and the ideas adolescent are trying to make a new roles new ways of thinking and behaving they are exploring different ideas and the values now the if erickson has addressed this period as in the framework of lifespan development with so many intense expressions and experiences as an adolescent experience is also an important time of emotional development in this part a child experiences maximum mood swing are the characteristic of theirs the last stage is the adulthood stage which we ha- is a long term and have been classified into four categories that is early young mature and aging according to this age group so in this early ch- adulthood which is confined from 18 to 20 to 25 years the stage is a developmental bridge between a pre adulthood and an young adulthood the phrase is considered as a healthiest time of life and in this period between 18 to 25 of age the adolescent becomes more independent and explore various life possibilities in young adulthood between 25 to 40 years at the stage the strength and the physical performance reach to its peak so the flexibility may decrease with the age throughout the adulthood while in the mature adulthood which is from 40 to 65 years there are some differences between the mature adulthood because some defines it between the middle age hood or middle age between 45 to 65 but erickson defines it as between 40 to 65 years of age at this stage the vision of eyes could change and many of them who did not need corrective lenses or eye glasses may find them need of them so in la- the last part is from aging of adulthood until a person reaches to the mortality so this year that is from 65 years plus the aging adulthood is called as late adulthood and which is generally considered to begin at the age after the 65 in this late adulthood a variety of psychological changes may occur including some degree of atrophy of the brain and a decrease in the rate of the neural processes now with this we have came to the ages end of the stages of human development you just need to go through the stages of human development you can identify each of the features just by knowing their ages and have to point out either one or two points each and that's an important topic now today the next topic is about learning so there are different definitions of throndike crow uh, crow and crow the sports learning is basically the top the main keyword is that it's a gradual process of the individual which may attempts to learn and it is a acquisition of habit knowledge and attitude now different persons have differently explained in different way and we have to identify one thing that it is a permanent change of behavior and it has been a result of this practice and experience the next is a very important thing is that about the, what is it 
relationship between our learning and development the basic is that it is there is learning is a provoked by any situation it can be either by a teacher or an external situation and it evoking a development process to the social interaction with the peers or the teachers or any other relatives while development is about the process on which the totality of the structure of knowledge now with this we have come to our end of the video and our next topic will be the principles of child development and if you like our video then please subscribe it and click the like button thank you